Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining this week's webinar. So excited to talk to you guys about email marketing and the new uh, solution we have for all of our retailers. So my name is Todd Saunders. I'm the CEO here at Broadloom and excited to get started. All right, so quick agenda for today. Uh, we're going to talk about what email marketing is. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about email marketing. So we're going to talk about what it is. We're going to talk about why to use email marketing. We're going to then go into how it works. We'll then talk about a case study. And then we'll end on some different ways that we are offering this uh, to you guys, all of our customers. Again, this is something I'm very, very excited for. It is our first uh, big launch where we're actually using AI as part of one of our products. And I couldn't be more excited to show it to you guys today. So to start, uh, just to set the stage, I want to talk about what is email marketing, right? Because a lot of people talk about email marketing, but I believe there's a lot of misconceptions. So email marketing, really how I think about it, is it's a really powerful marketing tool. But what makes it even more powerful is when you are able to integrate AI, email, and CRM data. And a lot of you are using our CRM retail lead management. And when you pair the data inside of your retail lead management CRM with AI, you're able to make some really, really powerful emails that can increase your conversions, increase the visits to your website, and ideally increase sales. Now, I was thinking about email and I said, you know, why do over 80% of businesses send emails and do email marketing? And I was really thinking about like, what is the difference between email marketing, news, uh, uh, postcard marketing, and um, Facebook or Google marketing? And what was really interesting to me when I thought about email marketing and why it's so done so successfully is that email marketing is a form of direct marketing and digital marketing, right? And when I say direct marketing, I think about, hey, you can send a letter or a postcard uh, to someone directly, right? If you want to send something to your customer, Mrs. Jones, you can send her a letter uh, right to her, her house. Now on digital marketing, like Google and Facebook, if you want to send Mrs. Jones a Facebook, um, a Facebook ad or a Google ad, you can't do that directly, right? You kind of have to do it based on a click or based on a larger audience. Well, email, it's digital because it's obviously online, it's trackable, there's analytics and reporting. Um, but it's also direct because I can send an email marketing message to one very specific customer based on the actions they're taking. So I think email is really, really interesting because of its hybrid approach between direct mail and digital marketing. And I never really thought about it that way, but once I started to think through it in that regard, it made a ton of sense. Um, and our email marketing solution is really, I look at it as the perfect assistant to any RSA, right? It uses AI, which means it can work nights, weekends and holidays. And what I mean by that is, right, all of your RSAs are, they, they have their prospects and then they call those prospects that come in or the leads that come in and they email them and they constantly follow up and the new leads come in and they email and call those leads. But as we all know, follow-up is difficult. We know that leads can come in and then 90 days later come back and say, hey, okay, sorry, I now want new flooring. So what email marketing does is it sends them emails over the course of 90 days, which we'll get to in a second. And your RSAs no longer have to worry about sending you know, marketing campaigns to them. It can really focus on just pushing them down the funnel. Again, we'll get into that in a second. And the last part about email marketing specifically as it relates to you guys, uh, our Broadloom customers, is this fully integrates into our CRM retail lead management and your Broadloom website. So it's truly an automated email marketing approach that connects AI and retail lead management. And from what we've seen so far from the retailers that are using it, it's been extremely successful and very, very powerful. So that's kind of what email is and that's why we got so excited about building this product. But let's talk about why you should use it and why so many uh, businesses are using email marketing. Listen, we all know, right? Like I can't tell you on any given day, I get like 10 emails from companies that Maybe I filled out a form, maybe it was on their website. And I archive a lot of those emails, but it's a reminder, it stays top of mind. And I promise you, they wouldn't be sending all of those emails if it wasn't working. So what are the benefits of email marketing? I won't read all of these, but I will try to call out some of them. 
Um, the first one up top, it, it increases website traffic, right? If you are sending emails to your customers, marketing campaigns and marketing automations, they should have links in there that then click to your website. Uh, so that's the first big thing. I think it helps really well with customer. Um, I don't want to call it customer with retention, but let's call it customer conversions, right? So what I mean by that is a lead comes in, maybe you've talked to them, maybe you've called them twice, maybe they came into the showroom, but you really need a consistent flow of communication and an automated email marketing campaign will do that for you and on behalf of your RSAs. And then the last part that I really like about it is it's shareable and measurable. And what I mean by that is when someone gets an email, unlike a Facebook ad or a Google ad, they can't forward it to their friends or their family, but an email they can. So what we've seen is that email marketing can also increase referrals exponentially, because now if you get an email as a prospective customer or lead, not only does that help you consider purchasing, but you can then forward that to your mom who maybe also needs flooring or your brother or your friend or your neighbor. And from all the testing we've done, we see a lot of consumers end up forwarding these emails. We don't know to who, but we'll assume to either their significant other, um, the property manager of their building, or maybe their neighbor. So it's a really great way to create this network effect and not just push leads down the funnel closer to sale, but to create repeat business and hopefully new business in their network of people that may want to shop with you. So those are some of the benefits of email marketing. But at the end of the day, staying top of mind with your prospective customers and current customers will always lead to more sales or at least easier sales. And that's really what this is all about. We want everyone here, all of our customers to be successful. At the end of the day, we want you to sell more flooring. And this is just one part of how it all works. So I put this chart up here because we used some data like this to decide how many emails to send customers. And listen, I said this earlier, like I archive a lot of emails. I get email marketed. And probably the first question we get asked from the first pilot customers we ran this with was, hey, I get a ton of emails and I just archive it, archive it, archive it. How do I know email marketing works? And so I wanted to share a study that was done. This was done uh, by a few different email marketing companies. But what I want to show you is on the left on the um, left axis, what you'll see is a uh, chance of remembering. So you see there's a 60% chance of remembering here, all the way up to 100% chance. And the bottom is the number of days. So imagine this. If I go to your store and I interact with you and it's uh, day zero, which is in this lower left-hand quadrant, obviously there's a 100% chance of remembering my conversation, remembering your company, remembering the product I was going to buy, the brand I was going to buy the LVP, the SKU, all of that. But as the days go by, and you can see in the bottom day zero to 60, your chance of remembering that goes down very, very significantly after day 10, day 20, day 30. So what you can take from this is like the first 10 days when you sell a lead is ultra, ultra important. And if you don't stay top of mind in the first 10 days, you will continue to fall in their brain and in their memory to the point where after 60 days, they may not even remember your store and they may go to a different store. So staying top of mind is really, really important. But if you remind them about your store, about the product you're selling or about the business, if you remind them within the first 10 days, you can see this blue line, what ends up happening. Or sorry, you can see the red line of what ends up happening on the forgetting curve, right? It gets flatter. They don't forget as fast about your brand. If you send them a second reminder within 10 days, you can see then again, it stays at 90% remind, uh, uh, remembering for almost 30 days. If you send a third reminder at about 30 days, you can then stay at 90%. If you send a fourth reminder at 60 days, that line essentially never gets below 90%. So what I want you to take away from this is essentially your RSAs are calling every lead. They're doing one-off emails. But if you have a consistent workflow in the first 60 days, of um, email marketing and of your customer's journey, you can make it so that they have a 90% chance over 60 days of remembering your brand, remembering the product and remembering the SKU versus if you don't send any emails from email marketing, you can see what happens with this blue line. Within 10 days, it drops to less than 50%. And within 60 days, there's essentially a five or 10% chance they remember you. 
So email marketing has a really, really powerful impact on staying top of mind with, again, future customers and current customers that may want to buy from you. And I thought this graph really, really resembled the opportunity email has. So that's that's why email marketing. And now, now let's get into it. Like how does email marketing work? How does the broad loom AI powered email marketing work? Now, before I get into that, let's talk about AI. I think a lot of companies just say the word AI because it's a cool thing to say. Um, we really believe that AI is a powerful, powerful tool and that mixing AI with email along with your own uh, CRM, right? Retail lead management data can create the most powerful email marketing combination in the flooring industry. So the way we use AI is, is pretty simple. If you look on the graph on the right, this shows open rates on the left-hand side, right? So a 1% open rate, a 2% open rate, a 3% open rate per email. Um, sorry, that that's, uh, that's not open rate, that's click rate. And then you can see all of the days of the week and you can see kind of hours and how it spikes. So what we're doing is as you uh, send more and more emails through email marketing, our AI will essentially optimize the days and times those emails are sent. So I'll get into this in a second, but one of our email marketing campaigns goes for 90 days, right? It sends eight emails over 90 days. And what we've done is we give each email a parameter. Like this email has to be sent somewhere between day one and day three. The next email has to be sent somewhere between day five and day 10. The next email has to be sent somewhere between day 10 and day 20. Again, going back to that uh, memory curve, we wanna keep it at above 90%. However, AI then decides, okay, Based on this customer and based on your data, this email should be sent at day two. It should be sent because that's a Wednesday and it should be sent at 4 p.m. Or maybe, hey, it's a Monday and this should be sent at day three because that's a Wednesday at 2 p.m. So the AI is constantly learning from the emails you sent through email marketing and it will send an email in the window I described, but it will pick the right day and time for you. The AI will also do content personalization, image personalization, again, to make um, the feel of your emails unique, different, and exciting to everyone that opens it. And what we found is if you use your CRM data and you combine that with AI, email marketing can create increased click-throughs, increased open and inter increased interaction and conversion rates for you and your website. So that's kind of how we're using AI and the impacts across multiple industries using AI and email have been really, really incredible. Um, I took this chart from Statista, which has a lot of, um, they do a lot of surveys around email marketing. They did this all the way back in 2018 when AI was just starting. And what they found was that if you do use AI with email marketing, you can increase your chance of getting revenue with these customers by 41%, you can increase click-through rates by 13% and increase open rates by 7%. And that was in 2018, AI is even better now. And honestly, we are blowing past these numbers from the data that we've seen. So, you know, I really believe that AI, this first introduction of AI here at Broadloom, there couldn't be a better product than integrating it here with email. So let's talk about how it works. There's really three let's call it four main ways how it works. We'll talk about two of the basic features and then two of the premium features, how we're gonna go. So the first basic feature is a new lead automation. So what I mean by that is someone fills out a form and that form goes into RLM or someone calls you or comes in and you put that lead into RLM. The second you put that lead in, a new lead automation kicks off. This new lead automation goes for 90 days and we'll send eight emails over 90 days to those, uh, those leads you put into to RLM. Now, those leads will look something like you can see the kind of categories below. The first one will be a welcome, a little bit about us. The next email will be, hey, here's some best-selling products. And I put in some examples of which day it could be. But again, don't hold us to that because the AI is going to change which day it is. But it will be eight emails within 90 days. However... One might be two days later, four days later, eight days later. We let AI figure that all out. So again, what's great about this is as soon as you get a new lead, you can rest assured that from your company, this new lead is going to get at least eight emails from you in the first 90 days. And this should help complement 
any work your RSA is doing to also email them and also call them. So that's the first one we call this new lead automation. The second automation is closed lead automation. And this happens when you move the lead from open to sold in RLM. Now we know that everyone uses RLM differently. Um, some people mark it as sold when it's done. Some people mark it as installed when it's done. You tell us when you want this closed uh, lead automation to, to kick off. We work with you during onboarding to decide which stage you use. And similar to the, the um, open lead automation or the new lead automation, the closed lead or closed sale automation sends eight emails, but this time it sends it over a year long period. And the goal of it is to help get a review from the customer, get a referral from a customer, and even one year later to say, hey, happy one year anniversary. Is there another room you want to refresh or how can we best help you? So the real difference here is that closed lead is responsible for generating reviews, getting referrals and trying to get repeat business. And these are eight emails over 365 days versus the other one, the new lead automation is eight emails over 90 days because you're really aggressively trying to get that lead down the funnel before they go somewhere else versus after they're a customer, you don't have to be as aggressive within 90 days. It could be a 365 day uh, campaign. So this is what it looks like. Again, please don't hold us to the timing uh, because the AI is gonna take care of all of that. But you can see on the left-hand side, the new lead automation, the right-hand side, the post sale or the closed lead automation. You can see that new leads get eight emails over 90 days. Closed leads get eight emails over 365 days. And the results have really been amazing, right? Like if you do this and pair this with what you're already doing on digital marketing, with what you're already doing with your RSAs, this can be the most powerful tool in your toolkit. So there are, so those are the really basic kind of meat and potatoes features. I would say about 60% of the people that tested this use that and about 40% used these premium features, which I find really, really interesting. The first one is email retargeting. So you've all been to a website, probably Amazon, where you go on, you don't do anything, but you look at a bunch of photos of products and you then get an email saying, hey, you left something in your shopping cart or hey, were you still interested in this product? That's email retargeting. And we've built email retargeting specifically for you. So what I mean by that is now, if a customer comes to your site and fills out a form at all in the last year, okay, and then they come back to your site and, and leave without taking an action, they will get an email from your business 24 hours later saying, hey, thanks for coming back to our website. Was there something we could help you with? Right. So just like Facebook retargeting or Google retargeting, email retargeting is extremely powerful. But the advantage email retargeting has is one to one. Right. You're sending that email directly to Mrs. Jones versus Facebook. You're sending it to a whole audience. So one of the premium features I'm finding working really well is this email retargeting feature. Again, every one of our packages has the new lead automation and the closed lead automation. But our premium packages have email retargeting and have uh campaigns. So what we mean by campaign is we have pre-built 12 campaigns, one for every month, right? So I can't remember them off the top of my head. I'll actually show them here uh, just to move on. You can see January is a new year, new floors. August is a back to school. So we've built a really custom email. You can see on the one on the left, April was our eco-friendly email. As part of our premium package, you can select uh, up to four or 12, depending on the package, pre-built um, campaigns. And what this is, is we then take this email and we blast everyone, new customers, old customers, repeat customers, everyone that's in the database um, of customers that you've sent emails to in the past. We then send these pre-built campaigns that are seasonal, that are relative a timing basis. There's something currently going on. You can see all of these like October is about Halloween and December is about you know, the holidays. So it becomes very seasonal um, and just contextual, which is good to do outside of just the automations that happen that we presented. So again, all of our basic packages have new lead automation and closed lead automation. Those are the 16 emails combined. Um, and then so the premium packages have website retargeting and marketing campaigns. 
Now, one question you might be asking yourself was, well, if I'm having a warehouse sale, can I work with you on a one-off basis to design an email and send it out? The answer is yes. These are all pre-built. These are all meant to help um, guide you with templates that have worked really well for us. But you are eligible if you're working with us, we'll work with you to design an email on a one-time fee to then send out anything, whether that's a warehouse sale or a birthday party you're having or a grand opening. We're obviously happy to help you with that as well. So listen, we wouldn't be doing this webinar if this wasn't working, right? The way we've been rolling out products here is we build it, we test it, we try it with a bunch of retailers, we see performance, and then if it's working, we bring it to the masses. And that's why we're doing this webinar today. So I pulled data from, I think it's 10 or 11, just random subset of customers. We have about 20 or 30 customers already using this. And the, the stats are really interesting. So all of this data is from email. This is this these stats show what is happening on the retailer websites from the email marketing campaigns. And what you're seeing here is of the 278 users that clicked from the email to the website, they got almost 10% conversions, right? So almost 10% of people that clicked on the email reconverted. Now the truth is a lot of a lot of what I like to look at is how quickly did it push this prospect to do a sale? And they may not convert again, right? They may not fill out another form, another phone call, but it is good to see that it is creating more forms and more phone calls. But really what I like to look at is open rate. Like what is happening? Is Mrs. Jones, who said she was interested in flooring, was kind of wishy-washy, not really responding to phone calls, once in a while responding. Is she opening the emails and looking at the emails? Because if she is, there's nothing more we can ask for. We're putting an ad right in her face from you. She already said she was interested in flooring and now we're serving her this ad and she's willing to open it. It shows intent. It shows that it is working and we are pushing her down the funnel. And I wanted to pull this data of a customer that just launched with us like four days ago, or you could see on the 20, when did they launch? 320. They actually probably launched more like 324, uh, sorry, 321. So it's been six days. Um, they have seen incredible success. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, 75% open rate. So of the emails they've already started to send out, they've seen a 75% open rate and a 16% click-through rate. So again, what this means is that prospects that came in, leads that came into their RLM are getting emails and 75% of the time they're getting those emails. I promise you at 75% of the time, if they're reading these emails, that means they are moving further and further down the funnel. They're learning more about your company and we are pushing them closer to the sale more than they ever had in the past. So this is really, really working, guys. And what we've seen is when you just pair AI with your CRM data, you create these really powerful email marketing campaigns that truthfully just work, right? So what does that mean for you? Um, what does that mean for you guys as Broadloom customers? So, so this is what it looks like. Here's our pricing for all of our packages. Um, and let me talk to you about the difference. The standard tier here um, has those two automations that we talked about, right? So the closed, the new lead and the closed lead and has reporting and analytics. That's essentially all it does. If you want to start with the basics, it's a really good way to start. The premium tier, however, has some really interesting things added to it. The premium tier includes AI optimized everything. So every part of the email is AI optimized. It includes email retargeting. So again, email retargeting was that, that chart that I showed you where someone comes to your website, previously filled out a form, and they get an email sent to their inbox uh, 24 hours later. And then the other part of our premium package is you're eligible for custom campaigns. So I mentioned this before, anytime you're doing a warehouse sale, you're doing a birthday party, you're doing a grand opening. We will work with you on a one-time basis. I think it's about $350 to just design the email, but we'll go back and forth and work with you on a few different ones. And we'll, anytime you want to send a one-time blast, we'll send that out to you. And then the last part about the premium package is the number of campaigns, which you can see here. Four campaigns are included in there. So that's four of those 12 pre-designed campaigns, one for every month, you can pick four of them. And then the difference between premium and platinum is essentially you get all of the campaigns. I will be honest with you, it's about 60-40 right now between standard and premium. 
is what most people are picking. I think we have two or three people on platinum. Majority are on premium because they want the AI and custom and email retargeting. Regardless of wherever you pick, we are seeing that no matter what, listen, the way we look at this is for $3.99 or $5.99, if this can create one or two more leads for you a month, or it can push someone down the funnel faster to be a closed sale, or someone that came in kind of was wishy-washy, but because of all the time remembering, went someone from helped take someone from being just a lead to a sale, it's worth it. And that's why we price this so aggressively in a way that we want to make sure the ROI is there and that you can really sell more flooring by using email marketing. So that's it. I'm really, really excited about this. I'm excited about the first launch of AI. I'm excited about email marketing. I'm excited to add more features on top of retail lead management. And I can't wait to see your guys' feedback. And I can't wait to see, um, once we really scale this out to a few hundred customers, what the data looks like. Now, right now, unfortunately, we have, you know, we can only onboard so many customers. So anyone that signs up here today or in the next few days, we'll kind of move to the front and then we'll go through the process because we really want to onboard slowly. We want to make sure we get the emails up to par to really customize it with your logo and your images and everything. So it takes a, a bit of back and forth to get up and running. Uh, but once it's up and running, it, this is just running in the background. And really, there's not much work you have to do other than look at the analytics and do what you do every day, which is help make people's uh, dream floors a reality. So with that, we'll do some live Q&A and uh, we'll see what people what questions people have. All right, let's see. All right, first question. Do we have to be an RLM user to use email marketing? Good question. Um, the answer is yes. Uh, you at least need to have access to RLM because what happens is when an email comes in, it becomes an open lead, which kicks off new lead automation. We then need you to let us know at bare minimum, you don't have to like use it super aggressively and have a million stages, but we need you to mark the lead as closed or whatever you call it so that we know, hey, take this customer out of new lead automation and move them to closed lead automation. If you don't do that, your customer could have been sold already. You could be installing it and they're still getting emails saying, hey, learn more about us. Hey, don't you still want to buy flooring? So it is highly recommended that you are an RLM customer to use this. It'll be way more effective. But again, all we need you to do is take an open lead to a closed lead. If you don't want to do all the steps in between, that's fine. If you simply want to close leads and open leads, that's all we need you to do. All right, what else do we have here? What happens if I sell the customer before the new lead automation ends? Okay, so good question. So I think what you're referring to is when a new lead comes in, they get eight emails over 90 days. And I think the question is, but hey, what if I sell them on day 20? So if you sell them on day 20, that as long as you move their stage in RLM to sold or whatever you call it, which we'll talk about on onboarding, as long as you move that stage, that customer is then taken out of new lead automation and they are moved to closed lead automation. So again, I think those questions go hand in hand. That's why we need you to use RLM so that the experience is really good in between the two. All right. Well, the emails have, uh, yeah. So the question is, will the emails have my logo on them? Yes. All of the emails will have your logo on them. They're all kind of customized with your colors. Um, your logo. We found that black and white kind of generally works just because of the way it renders on different um, uh, black and white styles, but your logo and color works generally the best, but your logo will be on every single email. Um, so the answer, I guess, short there is yes. In RLM, will I be able to see if an email goes out to a customer? Um, Yes, you will. So inside of RLM, inside of the notes section, anytime an email is sent, you'll be able to see that an email was sent right in there. No different than you would with, um, uh, no different than you would if you sent an email to that customer yourself. Uh, so yes, inside of RLM, inside the notes, you'll be able to see it. All right, there's another one from Jim Buckles. Do you have stats yet on percentage of conversions that turn into actual sales. Um, it's a, I think what you're saying is, 
do we have stats on someone that opened an email and the percentage of con of those people that turn into sales? We do, but to be honest, it's like a little misleading because I'm not sure that's the right metric to track. Because if you think about it, every lead that comes in gets at least the first email. So technically, anyone that converts, we could attribute to email marketing. And that's not really the point. What we want to do is we want to say, we really want to find out out of all the leads that came in, was email art marketing able to either A, speed up the process of them going from a lead to a sale? Was it able to remind people that we're never actually going to buy or weren't going to buy right away to then buy? And was it able to create repeat business or referral business? That's more so what we're looking for, not like an increased number of sales from the same people, if that makes sense. That's almost impossible to, to track, um, which is why I go back to open rates, right? Like if open rates are high, that means that the lead that is clearly interested in a product from you is interested in continuing the conversation and interested in what you have to say. And if those rates are high, we believe, and what we've seen is that leads to not just more conversions, but a faster path to conversion and sale. I hope that answers your question, Jim. All right. Well, that might be the last question. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Email is todd.saunders at broadloom.com. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to work with you. Email marketing is officially live. Thank you, everyone that participated in our beta test over the last few months. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. On the